Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you saw in that little montage in the beginning there, we're doing a secondary review of the Ryobi 2300 PSI electric pressure washer. I had heard um, through the comments on some of the ones uh, of the previous video, video that I did that some things had changed on it, so I wanted to do a review on it and test it out. Hopefully something did change. If not, this is gonna be kind of a waste of a video, but um, so anyways, guys, stay tuned. Hopefully we're gonna find out some cool new updates to this thing. Um, I'm pretty excited to check it out. I was at my local Home Depot, I saw it there. I said, you know what, let's, let's see. So I got it and we're gonna test it out. Before we move on, I did a video reviewing all of the electric pressure washers under a hundred bucks that I've done, uh, that I've tested. Did a whole video on that and I'm giving four of those away. They're right here. We're giving away the Greenworks 1500 PSI, the Portland 1750 from Harbor Freight, the Ryobi 1600 and the Craftsman 1700. Um, so make sure you go back to that video. I'll put a link of it up here for you guys as well and make sure you get yourself entered in that giveaway. Oh, all right, little puppies. Not light. Okay, so looking at the unit, it's a l pretty much the exact same looking. Yeah, looks the same. Let's go ahead and pop it open. I'm gonna really quickly go over the accessories, assembly, all that kind of stuff I did in the other video, so we're not gonna do a ton of that, but let me go ahead and pop it open. We'll run through what it does come with really quickly. Okay, so I've got the machine here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull everything out one by one. Handle pressure washer hose. This is the same hose that comes with the cheaper units, more expensive units, all the same deal, 20 uh, feet, and it does kink. This one actually seems to be a little bit better, um, but as you can see, it does kink, and the kink stays in the line, which means it creates a pressure point there that could blow out over time. As you all know, I prefer the Uberflex hose um, or the Flexzilla hose. The Flexzilla is the same thing. They use the Uberflex's technology, their patent, um, but that would match this machine a little bit nicer. Here is the Uberflex hose. As you can see, super, super pliable, doesn't kink. And if you do get it to roll over on itself, it does not have any memory in the line. So no worries about blowouts. Fantastic hose, I use it every day and I absolutely love it. It's linked down in the description below so you guys can buy it on Amazon if you'd like. Moving along, wand extension with the quick connect. Uh, the back plate for the pressure washer unit itself has your nozzle storage right up top here. Pressure washer wand portion, hose attaches here, extension goes in here. Then we have a little bag of goodies, including your warranty card, some information about the pressure washer, some of the plastic attachments that bolts onto it. We're not gonna be assembling this whole thing, but they're here. Um, you have the pins for your caster wheels. You have a 15 degree nozzle, a soap dispensing nozzle and a turbo nozzle. And last but not least guys, just take out a couple pieces of cardboard and we have the actual unit itself. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this thing. I'm just gonna speed up the video here, put a little music over, so enjoy the music, hopefully you like it. The machine is all assembled. Um, that was pretty painful. It was like the, it's like that was the first pressure washer I've ever assembled. So absolutely not. I've done this a million times now. But uh, anyways, guys, overall the machine looks very very similar. You have your uh, hose, or sorry, your pressure washer gun storage over here. I didn't tighten this stuff down, but doesn't matter. Uh, pressure washer gun storage, cord storage, and hose storage, or vice. Yeah and hose storage is just a little piece, little Velcro strap, you can strap it on there. Um, now on the body of the unit itself, it pretty much looks the same. However, there is one uh, update that I am very, very excited about. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I prefer when the pressure washer sits in line with the hoses, right? So a hose comes in one side, hose goes out of the other side so that the pressure washer is in line. You don't have to worry about things getting tangled up. This unit in the past, when I reviewed it before, had both units, uh, the inlet and the outlet were on the same side. I didn't like that. Well, the new one is on opposite sides. It's an inline system. So here is the water inlet right here. And this is on a kind of a longer stem now. So it kind of sticks out a little bit further. 
not so much that it's gonna be in the way of anything, but just out far enough so it's easy for you to attach your hose, which is really nice. And you can see an inline water outlet hose is right here, which is fantastic. I'm really, really excited about that. And the other thing that I'm noticing here is that there is now this little plastic piece right up top. And I don't know, I'm assuming, I haven't actually looked at that in depth. I'm assuming that's gonna be a total stop system. And if it is, that's super exciting. That's actually what I heard that this thing has that the older one did not have. Um, was a total stop system. So I'm hoping that's it. I'm hope, fingers crossed. We're gonna go ahead and test it now and see um, if it if it is. If it has that new system, that's really, really cool. It really ups the game of this one. Um, in past videos, people would ask me, should I get this one or the DeWalt 2400? And I would say, get the DeWalt 2400 because the wheels on it are a little more textured, That's but not a big deal. And then, um, but the DeWalt has the to total stop system. If they put a total stop on this, there's no reason not to go with this one, guys. It's a fantastic machine. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. Now in the last video, we tested it uh, with the 15 degree nozzle that it comes with. We were getting 2300 PSI with that. We tested it with the turbo nozzle that took it down to 1500 PSI. And then we used it a 40 degree 2.5 orifice nozzle, uh, which dropped us all the way down to 1050 PSI. Um, I have my notes here. so. With the original nozzle, 2300 PSI, 1.225 GPM. Uh, and then with the 2.5 orifice 40 degree nozzle, 1050 PSI, 1.35 GPM. So we're gonna test that and see if it gets any better now. Okay, so I'm all set up, got the door open, it's dark out, it's long day of work, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys. I have everything hooked up, it is cold, I got my jacket on, I'm freezing. For you guys that live in actual cold places, call me what you will, I'm cold, it is currently 47 degrees here in San Diego and it's freezing for me. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the factory hose. Again, still all tangled up. This thing's an absolute nightmare. There's nothing worse than pressure washing and having to deal with a terrible hose that stays all tangled up on you. So definitely go get that Uberflex hose, guys. You won't regret it. Um, it that thing is fantastic and a pleasure to work with compared to this thing. Uh, but anyways, factory stuff I'm using here for the test. Uh, now switching over to the Uberflex hose, even the 50 footer does not change performance at all. So don't be worried about that. I've got my pressure gauge here. I put a quick connect on the end of the hose, quick connect in, using the factory gun, quick connect in. And there we are, we're gonna be able to test this thing out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it on, let's find out. Um, actually first, I'm going to just let the, turn the water on, let the water purge out of it. There we go, it took a little while for the water to get through the line. All right, we should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the 15 degree, 15 degree nozzle that it comes with, and we're gonna go ahead and plug that in the machine, test out the PSI. Again, we were getting 2300 PSI with this, with this tip um, with the previous model. All right, guys, we're about to turn it on. Let's find out, does it have a total stop system? <laughs> yes, it does. Fantastic. That's so nice. I'm so, so happy that they did that. Thank you to whoever commented on my last video letting me know about this because I they didn't change any of the marketing material on this at all. Um, so to find out that it does have total stop is awesome. So let's go ahead and test the PSI now. All right, so we lost a little bit of PSI compared to the last unit. The last unit was getting 2300 on the dot. This one is sitting at 2050 P, uh, sorry, uh, 2150 PSI. So not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and test the turbo nozzle. Again, the turbo nozzle was getting 1500 PSI. We are now at 1400 PSI. Uh, noise level of the machine, I would say while it's running is the exact same as the last one. Now it's obviously quieter when you don't have uh, the trigger pulled because it's not running at all versus the other one did have a hum. Let me grab the 2.5 orifice 40 degree nozzle that we tested the last one with. 
Okay, so I don't have a 2.5 40 degree. I don't know where I put it, but I do have a 2.5 orifice 25 degree, and that will get the same exact performance as the 40 degree. It's all dependent on that orifice size, so no problem here. You can assume this is the 40, it's gonna be the same thing. Let's go ahead and test the PSI. Okay, so we're running about the same numbers here. Uh, with the last machine, we're at 1,050. With this machine, we're at just 1,000 even. Let's see if this will focus. Here we go. So there we go. Let's go ahead and test uh, GPM now. I'm gonna grab my bucket, stick it in the bucket for a minute, do the test um, using the 15 degree and this 25 degree with the 2.5 orifice nozzle. I will, however, test the, just to find out if this motor is the exact same as the other one and see if it gets the same performance. I'm gonna grab the Ryobi nozzle, the old Ryobi nozzle that the original unit came with. From my Ryobi 1600 PSI test, that orifice seems to be a little bit smaller because I was getting more PSI out of that one. So let me grab that and we'll test that. If that gets to 2300, then we know why. Okay, here's the original Ryobi nozzle. There you go, a little R on it. I wrote that on there so I knew what it was. And here we go. Interesting, we're getting 2000 PSI, so less. So, very interesting, this was getting, this nozzle was getting 2300 PSI, 1.225 GPM. So let's go ahead and test these nozzles. We're just gonna test the 15 that it came with and the 25 degree 2.5 orifice nozzles. Okay guys, so I've got my bucket here to measure out the water. Got my, my timer, we'll set it for one minute. Disregard all this junk behind me, as you can see, I have a little bass belt right here that it, it Oops, is my bass boat and I'm redoing the interior on it and it's just in the shop and it's a mess, mess in here right now. But here we go guys, let's test the GPM. With the 15 degree nozzle that the unit comes with, on your mark, get set, go. All right, there's one minute. And again, really cool, the machine is total stop so it goes completely quiet. Let me go ahead and check the measurement on this. And it's bouncing around all over the place, so just give me a minute and I'll, I'll let you guys know where we're at. Okay guys, so we settled and we're just a hair, barely under five quarts, but basically five quarts. Five quarts equals 1.25 GPM. So before we were getting 1.225 GPM, so the barely any difference at all. Um, it's negligible. I would, you know, I'd say it's the same, same, same exact GPM. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, empty this out now. We'll switch over to the 2.5 orifice nozzle and test that one. Okay, 2.5 orifice, 25 degree nozzle is in the bucket. Stopwatch is ready, and here we go. All right, so there's one minute with the 2.5 orifice nozzle. Again, gonna let the water settle. That's pretty much settled already. And we're sitting at five and a half quarts. All right guys, so at five and a half quarts, we are now at 1.375, which is an increase over the last one. I think it was 1.3. I mean, again, not by a lot, but this one's closer to 1.4 GPM at 1,000 PSI. Now. Would I buy this unit? Um, yeah, I did. I use this in one of my vans actually, even though it doesn't get the best water flow. Um, it's a smaller tank in one of my vehicles and I like to have a little bit less flow just so I'm not blowing through all the water in my tank. I'm able to rinse everything just fine still with a 2.5 orifice nozzle, 1.4 GPM or just about. Um, so cool. However, performance wise, yes, you do get uh, a better motor. Uh, it should last a lot longer. Um, it's an induction motor. It should, it should last longer than the other ones. Um, you get a nice handle, nice storage, big wheels. Um, if you don't care about that stuff, I would just go with the Ryobi 1600. Um, however, this one does a great job. It's a 
cool, cool improvement over the old version of this. Um, adding the inline feature, you know, so inlet and outlet on opposite sides, which I'm really, really happy about. And the total stop system is fantastic. So I'm really happy they made those upgrades. They kept the price the same. They're not charging anymore for those things. So it's well worth it, guys. The hose that it comes with is equally as bad as it always was. So again, guys, let me go grab another one for you, just to reiterate. Okay, so just to reiterate, the hose that all these pressure washer, consumer best pressure, consumer-based pressure washers come with are terrible. There's a few from Greenworks that come with an Uberflex hose, a blue hose from them, which is really cool that they give you that. Um, but for all the others, and the one that comes with the Uberflex, um, they give you a 25-foot hose. Not ideal, better than the 20-foot options that these ones come with, um, but still not great. Uh, you, can, you can get the 50-foot option on Amazon in a cool blue color. You can also get one from Flexzilla, which is the same exact thing in 50, uh, 50 feet. It's nice green, it matches the Ryobi units. You can get a red version, same thing, Uberflex. Um, this is a 30-footer. Um, so whatever you want, if you want to just upgrade, if you have one of the other ones that, from Greenworks that comes with an Uberflex hose, buy this 30-footer, then, then you're running 50 feet. You, you get the 25-footer and the 30, so you're running 55 feet and it's fantastic. Um, that's it, guys. All the recommended upgrades that I have for pressure washers, I'll link down in the description below for you guys. But that's it. I hope this video helps you. I think it's a cool upgrade. Um, I was really hoping that they did make some changes. Uh, because I did buy the unit and I was gonna make a video on it and if I had gotten to the point where we're testing for the total stop and it didn't have it the video would have been like I, I don't know why I'm making this but it did have it so fantastic I've always been happy with this one again it's an induction motor it should last longer than your standard little cube ones uh, three-year warranty from Ryobi anyways guys please make sure to like the video make sure you subscribe turn that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one